All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? As you can see, Kawhi Leonard has made it to Toronto. I believe that is Toronto. You see him in a picture with um, GM Masai, the one who pulled the trigger on this blockbuster deal that sent Kawhi Leonard to Toronto for DeMar DeRozan, a lifelong Raptor who's now going to be a San Antonio Spur. Now, what I've been told about these three meetings is Kawhi Leonard is much more happier today about being a Toronto Raptor than he was 48 hours ago. Now, I know a lot of you working class citizens like myself are like, yes, he should be excited that he gets paid millions of dollars to dribble a basketball. I'm right there with you. I don't even know why this is a conversation. Y'all see my video I did like two days ago when I was like, Kawhi Leonard needs to shut up and play basketball. The fact that Kawhi Leonard was somehow, some way considering sitting out, right? And this is according to his camp or somehow very upset because he has to play basketball in Toronto for eight months until he's a free agent and then he can go to Los Angeles is ridiculous to me. Suck it up, Kawhi Leonard. Play the game that you you're, you played at an elite level, one of the greatest of this era, right? Play basketball, bruh. It is what it is. Again, this is a picture from today. Kawhi Leonard met with some Toronto Raptors officials. And from the picture, I mean, <laughs> who knows? It looks like they're happy to take this picture. The GM looks happy. Kawhi, you can never... Look, man, if that's a smile, that's one of the ugliest smiles I've ever seen in my life. If that's a smile... That might be as close as you get to Kawhi Leonard being happy. Hopefully, he's ready to play basketball. I will say this. Kawhi looks much older in the face. You can tell he might have been stressed out a little bit. You can tell some age in the face a little bit over the last 8 to 10 months. Maybe this has been a very difficult process. Also, the brother was injured, right? We, we do need to put that into account. This dude went through his first big-time injury in his life, like the big-time injury. So, I mean, it, it, you know, a lot of stress comes with that. Been a tough time for him. But we as basketball fans, I'm not a Toronto Raptors fan. I'm not a San Antonio Spurs fan. We just want Kawhi back on the court. And I'm happy to see that he put his pride to the side, met with this team that traded somebody who was dedicated to their organization in DeMar DeRozan. I'm happy he put that pride to the side and met with that team who gave up. Again, DeMar DeRozan was going to play the rest of his career as a Toronto Raptor as long as they wanted to have him. I'm happy Kawhi decided to meet with this team that's risking it all for him. And maybe he'll consider staying long term. We will see how this season plays out. Again, Kawhi Leonard met with Toronto today. And they're discussing the direction of the franchise and um, the decision to acquire him and what they expect of him. Thank y'all for the time, love. Support. I'll keep y'all updated on this story when stuff comes in. I asked this question in my previous video. I want to ask you guys again. I'm thinking about opening my platform up to start posting NBA 2K videos so you guys can get to know the person behind the news out news stories. We're, we're getting towards the clo closing of NBA free agency. So there's about to be a down spot. And I'm thinking in, in my head, why not fill this down spot up with 2K videos? Would you guys be cool with that? Opposed to it? Please tell me in the comment box below. Just keep it honest with me and um, I'll listen to you guys and move forward accordingly. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.